Praise the Lord. Let me say welcome to Brampton Trampman Church of God this morning. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 We are excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning. And as you join us this Christmas Sunday uh, across the world, Hallelujah. it is one of the most celebrated season for the Christians who believe that Jesus Christ came in this world to save sinners. And Paul said, of whom I am chief. Yes. But thanks be to God for his goodness, Jesus came. So join us this morning as we worship the Lord. It's not the usual church services that you all know and faith and experience over the years, but this is what it is. Now we are Ten people worshiping at a Christmas Sunday, which is, I wouldn't say ridiculous, but to what we know it is. But you know something? It's not the season. It's a reason for the season. It, it's not the glitter and the glamour and the glow. It's not what's under the Christmas tree. It's what's in our heart. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And thank God I can say I'm saved by the coming of this man called Jesus Christ. So as you listen this morning across the globe, wherever our voice might be heard, you're not enjoying the season that you're used to. You're quarantined. You're confined. You can be just 10 people in your church. Doesn't matter how big it is. Uh, your family, only your family, and that's, that's not what we're used to. But we're going to make the best out of it Amen. and worship the Lord this morning. Amen. I'm going to invite the church to stand to your feet. Um, we want to pray and ask God's mercy, ask God's favor, ask God's kindness, ask God's forgiveness, ask God's help on us. Uh, the world is mourning. Crying, weeping, name whatever word you want to use. Sad, silent. I watch this one state that loaned some 5,000 body bags. And how many trailers? And that's not to chuck chicken and beef across the states. It is to put away the corpse, the remain of the dead that the funeral home cannot deal with right now. It's an overflow. And there are people, they were just like you and I. And it could be me, it could be you. I watch the doctors, they're crying. The nurses are crying. They're saying that we're overwhelmed. Our ICU beds are closed. They're filled. And people are lining up to come in and we don't know what to do. We reach a point where if we're not careful, we, we, we're going to be selected who live or who die. We're going to rationalize the, the, the care that you should get. And that's chaotic. That's disaster. That's sad. So you and I have a right a good reason to pray that God will help us. The poor man is crying, the rich man is crying, the learned man is crying, the, the man on welfare is crying, the man in the in the street is crying, in the shelter they're crying. We, the world is crying. We're all mourning. We're all equal right now. We all need help. Help that money can't buy. Only Jesus Christ can help us. Let us pray at this time. Gracious God and our Father, maker of heaven and earth, the sea and all that dwelleth therein is, you are God. When we said, let there be light, there was light. When you call the fishes to come into being, they came into being. When you made man out of the dust of the earth and you blew within man's nostril the breath of life, man sneeze, man get up, yeah. man move. You are the creator 
I salute you this morning, Lord. Yes, we're going through a period that we are not familiar with, some of us. But God, you remain God, and you never cease being God, and you're always active, and you never take a break. I'm asking you, Lord, to have mercy upon us, your children. I'm asking you, Lord God, for a way out of this disaster, this COVID-19. It has no barrier, Lord. It has no respect. It has no boundaries. It has no religion. It has no favoritism. It takes the rich. It takes the poor. It takes the half. It takes the half not. It takes the white. It takes the black. It takes anyone coming its path. Yes, Lord. But you're God of mercy and grace. Mm. Have mercy upon our land. I pray God for leadership in this pandemic. I pray God that you will touch the scientists, touch the frontline people, touch the government, touch the healthcare professionals, touch the law enforcement. Have mercy upon us. We all need your help. Yes, Lord. We all need your help. Mm. Pray for the churches, Lord. I pray for ministers that we will not be fearful, but stand firm because our confidence is, is in God. Our trust is in God. And anything coming through this is, has to be you leading the charge for us. Give wisdom to those who are preparing a vaccination to help the world. It's so confusing, Lord, when you listen to so many people, should you take it, should you not take it? We're, we're confused, God. Lead us through this confusion. Oh, God. Lead the church. Lead us. Lead your people out of this. And we know, God, we will come out on the right side. I commit this service in your hand, Lord. Bless those who are listening, hurting, bruised, tired, restless. Give us peace, Lord. So at the end of all this, we can have a shout. Bless the word today, Lord, we ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. Welcome the voice of Northern Ireland. Amen. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Shall we praise Him another time? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. Yes, yes. Amen. I just want to say good morning to all. And I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. In spite of our storm, just remain in God. Because there will be peace after all. Amen. I just want to sing for you this morning this Christmas carol, um, Joy to the World. Let us just stay in that joy, stay in our bubbles. That God give us this joy, this peace inside. And for sure we will still Enjoy our Christmas. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her Curse is found for us to curse. 
government shall be upon his shoulder. Come on. And his name. His name. Shall be called. Yeah. Whether the season is good, whether the season is bad, whether the season is happy, or whether the season is sad, his name shall be called Wonderful Come Counselor. On. Come on. The mighty God. Yeah. The everlasting yeah. Father. The Come Prince on. of Peace. Yeah. The gift. The gift that keeps on giving. Clap your hands as you know that you have the gift on the inside. Born to take away our sorrow. Born to give a bright tomorrow. He loves us more than any gathering of the sparrow. The gift that keeps on giving. Come on, man. Hallelujah. This gift was wrapped mm. in the material of prophecy. Come on, you preach it. Back when Satan invaded Eden with a hostile takeover and a malignant changeover. But how many of you know that you can't uproot God, downplay God, or side eye God? God is just God and will always be God. That same God declared, and I will put enmity or hostility between thee and the woman. Amen. And the, between the seed, I seed, and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. His heel. The gift that keeps on giving. Come on. Yes. Mm. The gift. That keeps on giving. This gift is immortal. Come on. This gift is eternal. Mm. This gift is visible. This gift is invincible. Delicately note in the fiber of your mind and the fabric of your spirit that this gift is not for one, but this it gift is for, is for one and all. Come on, amen. Luke 2 22 to 38 champions, and when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opened up the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. This gift is a holy gift. We're living in the season where you will get gifts that are contrary to the will, the ways, and the work of God. But I am presenting to you a gift from glory that is holy. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of true dogs or two young pigeons. And, look, watch this. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, an old man, an old faithful man that was waiting change to come to Israel, waiting change to come to all the evil and the evil brutality that was going on in the land. That same old man was just and devout, yeah. waiting for the consolation of Israel. Is there anybody under the sound of my voice that's waiting for a change in their life to come? Is there anybody waiting for a breakthrough? Something so full, something so total, something so life changing. Is there anybody? Oh God Almighty, he was waiting for the consolation of change to come. To Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him 
by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he has seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. There's a way we need to come to God. There's a way we need to come to church. There's a way we need to come and, and log on. We need to come in the spirit of God. And that same spirit, when he came with it, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, the Lord showed him this was not the Lord in every day. The Lord showed him that this baby was not so much the son of Mary, that this baby was not so much the son of Joseph, but this baby was the son of the living God. Then he took him in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace according to the word for my eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel when you receive the gift of salvation the old man perishes and the new man flourishes Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. The gift that keeps on giving. Come on, hallelujah. This gift is swaddling clothes. That were binding, swaddling clothes that caused little movement so that the child would keep steady from head to little toes. That child that was there bound of little movement was going to bind Come on. the broken hearts yes. and would be the apex of gift exchange. The gift in swaddling clothes would grow up to speak and decree yes. the spirit of the Lord. Come on, yes. Yes. Glory to God. Mm. Is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good times unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and to the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. I'm here to tell you, loved ones, that there is an opening in this pandemic season. There is liberty in this pandemic season. You can be free by the power, by the grace divine, by the gift that keeps on giving. This gift, fragile, yet formidable. This gift, humble, yet honorable, had to be given for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Can we thank God for the gift? This package of pizza. Can we thank God for the gift? The parcel of privilege. Can we thank God for the gift? The endowment of eternity. Glory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That keeps on giving. Glory. This gift. 
this gift ever saw the teat. So small that it was born in a feeding truck. We have the government upon his shoulders. This gift had no voice, but was so intimidating. This gift had no mobility, but was so mobilized. Come on. From faith to faith, yes. strength, strength to strength. Yes. And glory no. to glory. glory. This gift was advertised on a billboard in the heavens as a star lit up the sky and caused three priestly scientists to believe Come on. that a king was born. Okay. I'm talking about the gift and the gift that keeps on giving. The three wise men who were called the three kings or the magi, the latter a Greek term that describes a class of wise men and priests who were astrologers. Somebody say back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> From the Gospel of Matthew, we know they came from the Eastern Christian tradition. In Matthew 2, verse 1 to 12. It doesn't say anywhere that, that they were three, but the idea came because of the three gifts, the gold, the fence. And myrrh. Can I repeat that? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We learn from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, from Daniel 2, verse 10, and other historical writings, that the Magi were members of a priestly group descended from a tribe associated with the Medes and Persians. And that they were astrologers. They were basically pagans dwelling in the area, scientists in ancient Babylon. Their background was largely an Eastern religion. They used science and astrology. However, thank God for a Christian witness. Oh, yeah. However, some were influenced by the God of the prophet Daniel, which is the one true God. Centuries later, it was the same influence the same witness that compelled a group of the wise men, the scientists, to seek the one true God. Why is that story so relevant and significant in the account of our Savior? Primarily, Matthew's gospel was presenting Jesus as the king of the Jews. A fulfillment of Jewish prophecy of the Messiah. The fact that non-Jews could seek the Messiah reveals that Jesus isn't just the gift for the Jews. 
He came for everyone. There was also the significance of the types of gifts that the Magi presented. Each one represents one aspect of Jesus. Gold represents his kingship. Frankincense was a symbol of his priestly role, role and myrrh, an anointing oil used for the preparation for a burial, which prefigured or preordained his sacrificial death. What am I saying? We are seeing a type of the Trinity in triadic form upon the earth, recognizing the second Adam, the gift that keeps on giving. Angels became an alarm clock to two young people in love with God and in love with each other and declared what they should name the gift and what the gift would mean to them. In the Gospel of Luke, the angel Gabriel, who's always the angel making announcements, uh, directly alludes to this famous prophecy when he tells Mary about Jesus. He will be great. And will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. forever. His kingdom shall be, no shall, be shall have shall render no end. Luke 1, 32 and 33 says the, is, is, what it, is what confirms this. The way to know God is through his word and through his nature. John 1, verse 14 says the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory. The glory of the one and only son. I have one son. My son is my glory. But the son of God is the glory of God and the glory for the world who came from the Father. This baby that I'm sure didn't even weigh seven pounds was weighty, full of grace glory. and truth. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. The late Aretha Franklin, who regarded the change in winter weather, but steadfastness of the trees evergreen, spruce and pine, Child is the song, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Your boughs so green in summertime, so bravely green in wintertime, oh tannin balm, oh Christmas tree. 
How lovely are your branches. But this gift I was talking about would hang on Calvary's tree. This gift was not ever green, not ever crimson. Oh Lord, so we could serve God in season and out of season. The gift from the seed of a virgin overshadowed by the Holy Ghost proclaimed by the prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 11, 1 and onward, that there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and shall make a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Justice is here and is made is Jesus. With the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Justice is in. Yes. And his name is Jesus. Is Jesus. Marvelous. Mm. I see 11 verse 5 champions and righteousness shall be the girl of his loins and faithfulness the girl of his reigns the gift that keeps on giving the gift is here today the gift of God the gift of hope the gift of life. The gift that keeps on giving. Not from Amazon, but amazing race. This gift can be yours, free of cost. Because Jesus came in a the reason why we are in the mess that we're in, because we don't want the gift. We're, we're caught up with the gift wrapping paper. But we don't want the gift. But when you get the gift, you also get the giver of the gift. Amen. Amen. Paid in full. Sealed. Sealed by the Holy Ghost. Where are you in your life? There are business transactions in which you receive a gift or you're supposed to be gifted <laughs> and nothing comes your way. Not even the gift wrapping paper. <laughs> but this gift can't go anywhere 
on. <laughs> but right where you, you are. are. Come on, amen. <laughs> I want that gift. I want that gift yeah. too. I want that gift. Not the kind of so-called gift that the prime minister extends to you. But you better keep the receipt because you're going to have to give it right back. That's not a gift. That's a loan. But we couldn't, when we couldn't afford to gather salvation for ourselves, when we were, when we had a deficit of the divine, and we're on the overdraft of the demonic, the gift was here. Do you want that package of peace? Do you want that endowment of eternity? He desire the gift from God. Will you accept him today? You don't need to wait in a line. You don't need to fill out a form. You don't have to go online. All you have to do is come with an open mind and an open heart and say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me of my sin. Forgive me of my wrongdoings. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And the Lord and faithfulness will come into your heart, into your life, yes. and change it Forever. It's a great exchange to cast your cares on me because I care for you. The gift that keeps on giving. I want to wish you the happiest of times. I want to wish you peace that passes all understanding, that goes beyond what you ever thought possible. It's joy, unspeakable, and full of glory. And even though over a span of 750 years from Isaiah to the birth of Jesus, that half has never yet been told. But he still has things to share for you and share to you. For I know the plans I have for you, he says. He wants to reveal that plan to you, and he will, if you accept him. Get ready for a move of God. You never, ever thought possible. Only believe. All things possible. are possible if you only we bless you this service. We thank you, virtual ones, for coming forth. I'd like to pray with you. Whatever your needs, that God makes a way. Dear Lord Jesus, Savior of the masses, Prince Savior that will break every chain and will give us the victory again and again. I come to you, dear Lord, as a mouthpiece of mine. I pray, dear Lord, for people, your people, your children here on the land under the sound of my voice that need salvation, yes, Lord. who needs a miracle right now. Your people who are crying, yes, dying,
starving, bleeding, that are strung out, locked out. Jesus. Yes, Lord. All of the above, with all that I have yet to name, you know every condition, you know every child of yours, because they're yours. Go, dear Lord, where they are. Prick their conscience that they're in need of a Savior. Let somebody know that true joy is not found in drugs. True joy is not found in illicit relations. True joy is not found in the bar, but true joy is found in you. We pray, dear Lord, for relationships that are blistered and broken yes. and hearts that are ravished in twain. I pray, dear Lord, that you will meet them at the point of their needs. Wrap your loving arms around them. Yes. I pray for wings of an angel, dear Lord, that will dry their tears. But I pray in the name of Jesus that your loving embrace will comfort them being the God of all comfort. Yes, Lord. Allow them to arise in hope. Arise in peace. Arise with clarity that they never had before. Yes, Lord. As they see in a whole new way, just as you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we clap our hands for the victory that God has given to us? I pray indeed in this life, that in your life right now, this is indeed a day of divine discovery and divine recovery. For those of you that have positioned in your heart and poised to support this ministry, this ministry has been a blessing to you online. And you'd like to support the broadcast of this gospel message that we sent forth. Our mailing address is Brampton Triumph, the Church of God, obviously. 28 Westwood Court, Unit 7. Of the said Brampton, L6T, 4T5. And our e-transfer address is Brampton Triumphant at gmail.com. For contact info, we have a pastor that is 60 years of ministry efforts that loves people, and people love him. He is my senior pastor. His phone number is 647-708-6641. You can reach him. He's tangible. He's touchable. He's visible in times like these. Visible via Zoom. Yeah, WhatsApp. Obviously, this broadcast is this season. But you can call me at 647-708-6641. Or you can email him at revjwalker at hotmail.com. I also make myself available to you as a pastor in the city and also a clinical counselor in the same region. I can be reached at 647-274-3625. And my email address is simple, evgokwalker at hotmail.com. We have a desire, and we join all those around that are worshiping right now, and those that worshiped yesterday, to declare Jesus as Savior and King. We come here joined with that hope and that promise that in God, the best is yet. To come. By God's grace, tune in next week, next Sunday. Like and share this broadcast and watch what God will do in Jesus' name. God wish you bless you.